today I'll be talking about this book. So why I'm talking about this book is because of how it helped us during this time of the COVID. Hey, welcome back. Stacey Kaunda, please do subscribe. Ne? Subscribe, ne? subscribe. Ne? So today I'll be talking about a very special book, a book that my son holds dear to him, and that is Bible Rhymes. Okay, sorry, <laughs> that is Bible Rhymes. So he loves this book. He reads this book every night before he sleeps. He cannot sleep without reading this book. So the, the topic for this is how memory verses helped us deal with the COVID-19 with him. So this is the book that he reads every night. So in this book, you get rhymes, you get memory verses. So in, in the book, there on top there, you can see there's a, a memory verse right here. You see, yeah. so every, we do every story like this, we'll do Adam, we'll do Adam every, week so we'll do sunday to sunday so we'll do adam from sunday and finish the next sunday and then as soon as we're done we'll do noah and then do it from sunday to sunday as we done we'll do this so we go on and on and on so like you see, like i showed you there is a memory verse on top so how did we get to how did the memory verses help us during this time what happened is as, as days went and he started to become fatigued and started getting annoyed and started being very uh, uneasy. And I think you also picked this up in our conversation as we talk about the COVID-19, coronavirus and stuff. And we've been telling him he can't go outside, he can't be with friends, he can't go to school because of the COVID-19. So I think he picked it up in us that we have to be scared of this. Well, we have to be safe. But he started telling us, like he would well he's he's kind of finding his emotions so he'll tell us when he's angry he'll tell us when he's surprised he'll tell us when he's shocked he actually has faces for each of his emotions so which is good because now we get to know how he feels which is also can be annoying because he can feel whatever whenever without any reason so one day he came to us and he's like mommy i'm scared so now we can see in his face that he is scared and we're wondering what's wrong what happened did you see something what happened and we're like why are you scared he says i'm scared of the coronavirus and then we had to explain that you know what yes it's not a coronavirus it's a dangerous virus and but now that you're at home uh you are safe and if you keep washing your hands if you keep um you know if 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 you stay away from people, you don't go where there's people like you can't go to school because they, that can spread the virus, you know. So we got that. And then one of the days we read one of the memory verses, which actually helped us deal with with his fear because he kept on coming and saying, Mommy, can we go to the shop? And we're like, but I'm scared of the coronavirus, you know. So one of the verses that actually helped us is the um, story of Moses. Right, so we've been using these verses to help him out. So the the memory verse for this one, we did it a while ago, but it comes out in conversation whenever he's feeling something. So it's uh, Exodus chapter 19, verse 13. It says, Moses answered, don't be afraid, be brave, and you will see the Lord will save you today. So whenever he's scared, this is what we say, what did God tell Moses? And then you'll be like, don't be afraid, be brave, and you will see the Lord will save you. So those memory verses, they help us, you know. So um, whenever he's feeling something, we can just look at a memory verse and put it there. Uh, let me just look for another verse that we can just see. That we can add up to it. Oh, this one here came out recently, which I felt like maybe it was like, um, like maybe, yeah, like when, when he said this memory verse to me, uh, I felt like maybe God wanted me to pray. Right, because he says, if we obey the Lord, he will surely give us the land rich with milk and honey. That's Numbers 14 verse 8. So he just said this memory verse, like he just woke up in the morning. I don't know whether he dreamt about it or what. But he just woke up and then he said the memory verses. This memory verse. Yesterday, yesterday he was playing. He's just learning to ride his bike, which, which is a big bike. And it's taking forever to learn how to ride. But... Um, so when he turns the bike, he picks it up and I'm thinking, oh gosh, it's going to take forever. 
So as he's picking the bike, I'm quietly looking at him. And then he turns and says, Mommy, look at me. I'm Samson. I'm brave. I'm strong. And I'm like, oh, wow. So this is part of the story. The Samson story. And what's nice about this book is that there's pictures. So when we read the story, we look at the pictures. See the pictures? They're very nice. And it's not very long. It's not a long thing to read. But the book is big so this will take us the whole lockdown so if you are wondering when to start teaching your child memory verses uh my answer is start today if they're too young to read and too young to memorize keep on reading to them they will be shocked what they can grab or you can just if maybe they're like one year or two years you can just keep on reading the same thing to them until they until you feel like it's, it's ab absorbed so with him we read with him and he he does the memory verses for, for for us so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna let you listen until the end and then you will hear him recite his memory verses um he's very proud to do say this to his family to his cousins and grandmother so he's i mean everyone who knows us has a voice note of him saying this memory verses and remember that memory verse why it's so important to also teach the kids a mem memory verses is because Memory verse is the word of God. And if, if you really want them to know the word of God, for kids, this is a fun and exciting way to do it. So you can do actions. Like we do actions for every memory verse. And he remembers uh, the memory verses because of the actions. And that really helps. So make it fun. Make it exciting. You know, it can be a family challenge. It can be whoever gets, if you've got like, if your child have siblings, you know, if you've got more than one child, they can have like a challenge. They can have like exciting um, drawings about their memory verses. Just make it exciting because it's the word of God. And the word of God is actually exciting. And it helps us with questions that we have in life. And how about you give your kids that the, the weapons to be able to fight? Mm, I know that um, there's going to come a time where we he has to make the, the decision uh like t whether to follow christ or not and i i'm so glad that him knowing memory verses might be something that can help him you know that can be something that can um influence the decision that he'll make when he's grown so yeah teach your little ones memory verses it's never waste um the word of god is alive and let it come alive in your kids as they grow please do subscribe and don't forget listen to the end because he will be reciting the memory verses for us. God looks all in the different yet. You are remember yet. I remember that you are living creatures. Joseph! God is the Joseph with everything that's good. Moses, Moses, I'm dying to be afraid. Be brave, He, a Lord, will save you. Other Moses. Moses wrote down. Ten. Ten what? Come on, man. Good job. Joshua, Akila. We three. We pray. And what? They give us a lot. With milk and honey. A walls of Jericho. With a lot helped Joshua and Kate up and everything. Samson. Samson pray, please help me, Lord, to make me strong. And one more time. David and the giant. What's the and giant's name? Goliath. Mm -hmm. David answered, mm. mm. Today, mm. I know what mm. he helped me mm. and defeat you. Good job. King Solomon, please make you wise. Teach me to know what's wrong and what is right. Elijah. Please, mm -mm. did all bow down 
and he shouted, Oh Lord is God! Daniel and the lion. Mm -hmm. Daniel answered, For my God to send and just and to shut to shut mm -hmm. the mouth of lions mm -hmm. and then it's done hurt me. Good job, dude. Say thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.